join us for a ride on Ollie. Ollie will basically go up and down from nine to four. Self-driving shuttles that just rolled up to Sac State. Eight people can fit on board, and there's a special spot reserved for the safety steward. So if he needs to, he steps in on the handbrake here to just take the vehicle into a, a, a stop state or to slow it down. Otherwise, it's hands free. According to Local Motors, the company that makes Ollie's, they're the first of their kind, electric and 3D printed. So if you look down here at the camera, you see that underneath the seating, the seating tubs are 3D printed. That was part of the allure for Sac State, innovation and energy efficiency. We're the high tech capital of the world and we're the capital of that state. And uh, it's really important for uh, our students and our community to get exposed to autonomous vehicle operations. Students like Leslie Lucas and Lizzie Ramirez. So if you're ever running late, you could just run up to Ollie and be like, okay, like, take me to my class. It will not only help students personally, but just uh, the community as a whole. Lizzie Ramirez does see one speed bump, though. How is it going to know when someone is, like, just crossing the road? So we took the Ollie on a test run. The Ollie can go up to 35 miles an hour. Right now it's going about five, but you can see if anything crosses its path, Path, it stops on a dime, and as soon as you clear the path, well, it'll keep going. Sac State holds on to these ollies for a three-month trial before they drive off to their next city. The plan is to put these everywhere where we can fit a use case that, that matches the vehicle capability. There's a very strong chance they'll be autonomous in the future for all of us. In Sacramento, Marley Martinez, KCRA 3 News.